Thanks for uh, sticking it out. So this is, um, we enter a new phase of the presentation uh, before we return to the um, more extended duration talks. We decided we would have talks that are even more interesting and exciting because each one is only five minutes long. Uh, this is what we, uh, is becoming a common kind of presentation style in, in international meetings, uh, scientific meetings. Great for public meetings as well, so we limit each speaker, just to remind you all, to five minutes. Um, and I will be keeping track of that, and then we just uh, come and, and pull you off the stage, actually. Um, and then there'll be about a minute or something for questions. Um, so these are a lot of fun, um, and we have six of them today. Um, I'll, and I will say no more about them other than to just give you the person's name and just, you know, a tiny bit about it. So the first talk is uh, by Sarah Red Laird, um, the, the B-Girl, um, or uh, Executive Director of B-Girl, a nonprofit organization. She can tell us about her work and program. Inspiring thing that I do, and I really, really would inspire you 
well as beekeepers to get out and work with kids too. And that can come in many different forms. But first of all, why would we want to work with kids? Why are kids important? Why should you invite kids into your bee yard or go into a classroom? Well, because they are the next generation of not only beekeepers, but also scientists, eaters, gardeners, administrators, and voters and policy makers. And they're not just the future of beekeeping and bee health, they're present beekeeping and bee health and present consumers. So this is a little kid who was in one of my kids and bees programs and he talked his mom into she was taking a three hour round trip drive to come to Ashland and buy honey from the Ashland Food Co-op just because I had come to the, his school and he really liked me and really liked the honey that I brought to share with the kids. Three hours round trip. So they're consumers and they really do have a lot of power in the household. A lot of people say, oh yeah, they're just kids and you walk right in, you can go into their classroom, but um, they really, they get home and their parents erase it all and they forget what they told you. But that's not true. Kids are actually the driving force in their home a lot of times. <laughs> So how can you invest in RV's future? You can support by volunteering for educational events like Kids and Bees events that I put on all across the country, um, state fairs, bee schools, 4-H, FFA, or you can become a leader to start your own Kids and Bees program. I have a whole entire webinar on this on the American Beekeeping Federation website for ABF members, it's free. Um, or you can become a member or give donations to programs that are also working with kids. Just a few points. Um, anybody can work with kids. If you love bees and if you have a passion about bees, you don't have to be a teacher, you don't have to have a teaching certificate, all you need is love of bees and passion for bees. So get into the schools, talk about what you love about bees and that passion that you have will really inspire them. Tell them why you're a beekeeper, what you do it for, how you came to be a beekeeper. Talk about what the coolest thing that you think bees do and also some special opportunities that you might have had because of bees. These, these kids are gonna think that you guys are rock stars. These are really, really cool right now. And there's this really amazing line between fear and fascination. And you can, um, you can really do a lot by just coming in and merely talking to kids and helping them get interested in bees. So my website is beegirl.org. Um, please go and check it out, see what we're up to. Go to a classroom, talk to kids. And right behind me is a kid that um, got into 